Hello, fellow Rosarians. Back again with another fun maintenance thing for your yard. What goes with roses other than a hedge? So I have hedges uh, in front of everything on the waterfront side. When I first moved in about eight years ago, I started with the compacta holly. And why I went with compacta holly versus a boxwood is where we moved from, we had nematodes in the soil and every boxwood I put in seemed to deteriorate from nematodes. So the compacta holly seemed to be a nice hedge, no issues with nematodes. And so I put in a hedge down both sides and I'll, it's been very difficult because it's very hard to prune and keep down because it wants to grow and you really need to use a powerful saw to get through it. What I'm moving to and you'll see as I do my garden tours is that I have this one here if you can see it is a winter gem boxwood and although it grows large it's very easy to keep in check because the growth on it is so soft. I might try uh, boxwood again in the future. Maybe this soil is okay for boxwood. If there is one yard task that you are not fond of, for me, it's trimming a hedge. I don't know. I have just really struggled <laughs> finding the motivation to do this, and I don't know why. It looks so nice for the whole season, but I've hated just getting out here. You've got to measure, you've got to clean up your clippings. So I'm gonna share with you what I use to try to make that job easier. You could certainly go through with hedge clippers, hand pruners, a chainsaw, and chainsaws for me are just too heavy. I can't do that. And I like having tools that I can use and I don't have to have my husband uh, get out there and use. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put on your tarp on the front of where you're clipping. And I also have another tarp that I'm gonna put behind it and hopefully that'll make it easier to pull the clippings out. I've got mulch going in this week and so I wanna keep these beds as clean as possible. So what I use is by Cobalt and it's their hedge trimmer. And I'll go ahead and link it down below so that you can find it and what's awesome about this hedge trimmer is I've got a case here on it is that it is adjustable so let me get out of the picture here so that you can see this I've got a little um, a button here that allows me to take the hedge and make it uh, straight in case I have a tree that I want to get up high um, in case I am working at something that is low I can move it into a, uh, a different position here. So I love that it's adjustable and in one click, I can go ahead and get it into the position that I want. It's been so easy to use. And of course, I love having tools that are not using fuel that I can go ahead and, and have a battery and just recharge it and I'm good to go. So I wanna get started here and show you how I keep my hedge clipped. I really try to measure the line, where is 12 inches and go up from there. With the, um, the hedge that has the compacta holly and it's harder to get through, I'm probably gonna to have to go a little bit higher on that just because I can't get through it very easy. But it's very easy to get through the winter gem box and the plan for those hollies is that we're gonna slowly be replacing those in the future with something that's easier to maintain. But with everything in gardening, you have to do a little bit at a time. Okay, so I'll go ahead and time lapse this and you can see what I do. So I just remind myself what the problem is with hedging and why I dread it so much. With these hedges that we have that are holly compacta uh, boxwoods, they are so difficult to get through and I always have to, have to end up asking my husband to come with his chainsaw and clean them up for me. I don't want to do it anymore. So I made the decision while I was doing the uh, trimming that this is it. This is the last week or so that I'm going to be dealing with them. And I did the best that I could cleaning them up and I'll show you a picture of that. But um, we are going to start pulling those out. And as I mentioned to you, we have a renovation that we're going to be working on at the end of the summer. And so we need to start moving all of the plants out from around the main house. And I have at least 30 of the green gem boxwoods and I will and they're smaller so I'll go ahead and start replacing 
the uh, holly that I have with the green gem and I'll, I'll list them on Facebook. I hate just throwing away good plants. Somebody might be able to use them. So we've got a museum down the street. I'll see if they're interested in having them or I'll put them on Facebook Marketplace and see if anybody uh, would like to add them to their garden and let them go as large as they want to be. What I want to show you real quick is the difference because I did time lapse. You didn't get to be up close and personal to see how the machine works when it's softer, growth it's much easier to get through and then a harder holly to cut through so I've got here on this hedge here around this side I've got some wintergreen gems that are going to be super easy to trim up and then I'll just be able to top off here the compacta hollies uh, because they're too difficult to get through and before I get started um, I was reminded that I forgot to tell you I've given up on the tarp also I think the tarp is a good idea if you have fresh mulch down and you don't want to have that debris going into your fresh mulch but I think in this case it's easier since we're just going to be getting ready to mulch this week the beds are clear I'm just going to blow them out uh, with a, um, a DeWalt blower it's much easier than trying to uh, put a tarp down and move it around so let's get started <laughs> gentle so that I can go around uh, the irises here and not disturb them. 